we spend well over $500 on all this stuff. Hey guys, it's Dee here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing a Costco shop with me and I'll be sharing with you guys a Costco haul as well. So if you enjoy watching videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way every time a new video goes up on our channel, you'll automatically get updated. And just to let you know, this is Costco in Canada. I'm really impressed that they have all their toilet paper and paper towel in stock once upon a time. That was a sight that you could not see, but now it's becoming more and more of a regular occurrence every time I'm there, so that's always a good thing. And of course, while you're in Costco, you have to stop to see all the new kitchen appliances and just gadgets that they have. This Dutch oven right here, it comes in a two pack. The price is very reasonable. The quality looks pretty solid. I wouldn't be surprise if that's gonna come home with me <laughs> in the next month or so because I have been looking for one of these. $76.99 for two Dutch ovens, you cannot go wrong with that. And I also wanted to share with you guys some of the other things that they have. They have tons of pot sets. The price ranges are ridiculous. Like how do you know if you're getting a good deal if some of them are so expensive? But putting that aside, I do have this three piece set of the Tefal nonstick pans. I swear by them, the value is unbeatable. $30 for three of these pots that just, or pans that work really, really well on pretty much anything. They have like a Ninja blender. They have an Instant Pot six quart. I was unsure what the sizes would be like, but I think if I were to get one, the six quart would be good and we're a family of four. They also have like the stand mixers. You know, maybe if you're a bread maker like me, I like to make fresh bread. This would make your life easier. I still need by hand and oh my gosh, you guys, $60 for a crock pot? When did those get so cheap? Also, you guys, I have these cups in a much bigger size. They're so cool. They're like these really cool tumblers. And my friend and I over the summer were saying how they should come up with smaller ones. And now they did. And they have like a cute little lid. That's definitely something I recommend you guys getting. And they have also a variety of wine glasses for a variety of prices. But this one, $16.97. Let's see how many pieces, 18 pieces for $16.97. I might have to add that to my basket. You know what, add to basket, we're grabbing it, we're picking it up and we're gonna add it in there later on. Where do they come up with these prices? Like some of them are so cheap, some of them are ridiculously expensive and some of them are a little bit, you know, just whatevs, like, I don't know where they get this from, but I'm adding this to my basket, okay? And they also have this folding cooling grid. I've been wanting this for a while and now that I see that little star on there, I know that it's gonna be discontinued pretty soon. And $14.99 is a pretty good deal for a three tier cooling grid. So I'm gonna have to add that to my basket as well. See, this is the problem with Costco. You come in here, you have a list, you have things you wanna get and then you see all the other things that you didn't need and now you add it to your basket anyways. This is actually such a good value. I bought this a few months ago actually and it's been a lifesaver. I store like rice and flour because I usually buy those in bulk, like big sizes and it totally makes my life easier. I was gonna get it but I decided to put it back and then I just wanted to show you guys all the different storage options. I know a lot of people are organizing and decluttering their house. It's just something people tend to do around this time of year. So I wanted to show you all the different options for like storage shelves because now more than ever, everyone's trying to just store stuff more at home so they get to go out less. All right, you guys, so now we're home and I'm just gonna give you a quick little overview of everything we got and then we'll get right into this haul. Hey guys, so we're back home now and I laid everything out just to share with you guys. I'm gonna start with the frozen stuff and the refrigerated stuff, that way I can get it put away and then I'll come back to the other things that don't really need to be put in the fridge because I literally had to take it out of the fridge and put it here just to share the haul with you guys because nobody was trying to do all this yesterday. I was way too tired 
And honestly, going to Costco is a two day process. It takes forever in the warehouse. It takes forever to load everything in your car. It takes forever to bring everything inside and it takes an eternity to put everything away. All these groceries are supposed to be lasting us around a month. I will still have to go to the store to get like some fresh stuff like, you know, milk, fruits, vegetables, more snacks any little thing that pops up and I always shop to gain points. So if there's something on a really good offer at my local store, better believe I will be there to make sure that I get my points on that, okay? And I'm gonna get right into this. I'm gonna do my best to go as fast as I can, but I do wanna give you guys some details about why I got some of the things that we got and why we spent so much. So let's get into that right away. The first thing that we got is a pack of bacon, frozen meatballs. Now real meatballs that you make from scratch are way better but anyway i got time for that all the time and i just love the convenience of this literally this whole bag will be done in like a month Woo! let me tell you these meatballs we might have to get married one day because i like i can't see my life without these meatballs moving forward i am not taking this out of the bag because it's disgusting but it's a huge um thing of ground beef i usually portion this up into five portions so that my hands are like so disgusting uh, i'm trying not to touch anything okay and then i got two packs i don't know how i'm going to show you this but okay i'll take this one this one's not dirty <laughs> yeah two packs of the costco sausages so i got one mild italian and the other one is honey garlic and now i just need to go wash my hands because that that was disgusting Okay, so I'm back with fresh hands, fresh hands. Let's see if we're fresh hands. <laughs> and next, I'm gonna show you guys this big bag of french fries that we got. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these. They're not popular, but they are my go-to. So this one is Vasa Loins. Honestly, we can get like three dinners out of this, but lately I've been doing two. That way I give myself a little grace and I don't have to do as much cooking. And then this is rainbow trout. I call it like my cheap salmon because it looks like salmon. It almost tastes like salmon, but it's not salmon. And it's like half the price of salmon. Here, little footprints, hold on. Hi, Ellie. Hi. Good morning. Oh, you heard me talking? No. Yeah, and you woke up? You guys, I knew once I started talking and doing this all, the kids would wake up. It's like 7 a.m. in the morning and I woke up extra early so that I can film this and get it out of the way because I need to get this situated so we can get to our kindergarten class online. Um, but yeah, uh, Ellie is now awake. I'm sure her sister is going to hear me talking and wake up pretty soon. But this is good. This is a good wake up call because getting them up in the morning, getting them up in the morning. <laughs> So moving on, uh, along with the french fries, we got more chicken tenders. This just makes my life easy. A double pack of mozzarella cheese, it's shredded. Parmesan cheese, ricotta cheese, and I forgot to tell you, um, the Parmesan cheese is like Parmesan flakes. And this is so good. Like, you won't go back if you try it. It's a must try, you have to try it. 2% milk, string cheese for the kids. Then I also get a double pack of free run eggs from Costco. They are just the best price. Like honestly, when I buy free run eggs from the grocery store, it costs the same price as a two pack from Costco. There's no better place than Costco than to buy your eggs. And that's pretty much all the cold and freezer stuff. So I'm gonna run really quickly to put that away. And then I'll be back for the rest of the haul in just a little bit. All right, so I'm back now and I'm very tired and out of breath. So if I sound winded, it's because I had to go up and down stairs and that's tiring for me. So on my way up, I realized I forgot to share some things with you guys that belong in the fridge. So we got a big pack of this Activia yogurt and we got a big box of the Kirkland kombucha. My husband and I love kombucha. We drink this all the time. Whenever we have it in the house, it never lasts. Like it has live cultures at the bottom and it's just, you shake it up, you have it and it's good. So this comes in an eight pack. Um, I don't have the pack here to show you because we've already opened it. And you're gonna see, we got into a bunch of this stuff already. So real life. That's just the way it is. So we got a double pack of 
organic baby carrot and half of bacon, which we already cut into. And earlier I was showing you guys like the meat and fish stuff or options that we have for the month. We also got a pack of steak, but we've already opened and had half the steak. So the other half is just individually portioned and in the freezer. So I can't show you that, but I did want to tell you we did get steak as well. A huge thing of lettuce. We almost got a pack of organic spinach. So moving on, we got a big bag of clementine. Got a box of Honeycrisp apples. Costco, thank you so much for putting these in a box because the bags that you had them in before were not working. So thank you so much. And we also got a package of strawberries and then we have two bags of bananas one is already opened up i promise i'm gonna go much faster for the rest and actually let's do like a little youtube i don't know magic okay so okay so magic i'm back now we're gonna move on to like our breads and our pantry staples and all the other BS that you want to Costco and never planning to get, but you end up getting anyways. So I got two packs of a double pack of bread, literally. All four of these are gonna go in my freezer. Bagels, you guys, Costco bagels are so good. So this is the blueberry one, and this is the cheddar jalapeno. I normally don't eat this much bread. Most of this is for the kids, but the bagels are definitely for me. <laughs> And then we got a triple pack. Well, there's like three individual packs. One is missing because we got into it of garlic bread because I'm trying to have an easy life this year. Hi. <laughs> the girls are going to do the rest. It's going to be a long video now. What's this? Lemon. Lemon juice. Mommy. What's this? Mommy. Vitamins for who? Mommy and daddy. Yeah, mommy and daddy. This is... Almond butter. Almond butter. What's this? Peanut butter. <laughs> Nuts. What's that? Nuts. Almond. Almond. A huge bag of lentils. A double pack of cereals. All right, you guys, so we also got two boxes of these Velveetas. They're never available in Canada. Like, we only get this when we go to the States to visit my family or our family. But and I already eat that. Yeah, and look, they have it. So I got two boxes. So do you buy it. Would you like to have one? Yes? Okay, I'll open it. Just eating it. My dad eats so many pizzas. Ellie, Ellie, hold on one at a time. My Would you... mom's sister had it too. Yes, my sister does have And my it. dad always gets on chocolates. All right, you guys, then we got a package of peaches. A big package of Annie's mac and cheese. It's literally the only box mac and cheese we ever buy or have in this house. It's that good and Costco has the best value. The last food item that we have are Check. just, what's this you guys? Check. What's that? Um, what's apple sauce. Apple sauces. Yeah. It comes in all the flavors and that's just what we like to have. And so, you know, every time you're in Costco, you can't leave there. Like when you're in the warehouse, it's impossible to leave there without buying stuff that you didn't know you need. So something that I have been needing, I've seen it there before and I was just kind of like holding off to think about like if I really need it. I realized I really need this. It's a folding cooling grid. You guys, I'm a baker now. I bake stuff like all the time and I don't have a cooling rack. So this is gonna be great for my baking needs. I didn't really need it, but you know, why not? Also, we break wine glasses in this house like nobody's business. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me and my husband, but our wine glasses never last. So I saw this really good value. You get 18 wine glasses for, I think it was like under $20. I don't know, basically it's like less than a dollar for each one. So we, we're gonna have wine glasses for quite some time because we're not having people over. This is really for like entertainment purposes, like to have this much, but we are not having people over. Obviously we're in a pandemic and our city is in lockdown. So we just, we don't have people over, but this, will be good for a little bit. I'm really excited about it. I got a huge six pack of liners because 
female problems. And I also got a huge package of baking soda. I use this for everything. Like this will last us maybe a month, maybe a month and a half in our house because I also add this to our laundry. Speaking of laundry, I got new bounce sheets because ours is running low and that's something that we've been having a problem with. We've been having a problem with finding our laundry stuff when I go to Costco and that's a huge problem. So I'm just making sure I always get them now. That way we just have a stockpile in the house. Remember you're forgetting to get Downy's wrinkle guard. Oh yeah, <laughs> she saw a Downy's wrinkle guard commercial and she's been telling me I should get it, but I didn't get it. I'm sorry, Millie, but I did get a huge thing of laundry detergent. This has been so hard to find, you guys, and this is the biggest laundry detergent I have ever seen in my life it's the one that i always buy because it's the most for the best value 225 loads they, can't see their they raised the price but it was on sale and i didn't need it so i got it because it was on sale and i'm gonna eventually need it fun fact last month in december we actually hit rock bottom <laughs> on our laundry detergent like the container was empty and we had no more detergent in the house and it wasn't in stores for some reason. It wasn't at Costco. I checked for two months at Costco because I didn't want to buy a small package for almost half the price of what this big thing is. Um, I ended up having to do that one time and physically go into a store, which I wasn't happy about, but you know, what can you do? I got a four pack of this because we ran out and this literally lasts us pretty much like two years, so we'll be good for a little while and that sums up our haul if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you so much <laughs> really appreciate that if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button when you guys subscribe it helps our channel grow when you hit the thumbs up button it helps suggest our videos to other people who might be interested in this kind of content and when you hit the notification bell, it'll automatically notify you every time a video goes up, which I'll be posting weekly moving forward. That's my plan. Hopefully we can get to two videos a week, but you know, we'll see. And this is pretty much it for the haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. 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 I have footage you guys of what Costco used to look like near the toilet paper section in 2020. it's like we live in a different country like how is the difference so big like it's just mind-blowing